So what you're watching now, as you can tell by the title, uh, I'm starting to try a new kind of vlog, I guess. Uh, I thought I'd do like some studio vlogs. When I'm like putting pages together and editing and stuff like that, I like to have something playing in the background. And my go-to is either like TV shows I've seen, movies I've seen, or lately I've really liked watching other people's studio vlogs. So like just people being productive with some nice music in the background. It motivates me to also be productive. So I thought I'd make my own. Um, and I know a lot of you guys really like to see like the behind the scenes type stuff and my workspace and all that stuff. So you'll see a lot of that in these videos. So yeah, today I actually am planning on cleaning this closet that I'll show you in a minute because it's a hot mess. I went to Home Goods and grabbed a few bins and containers just to help organize. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. <laughs> stuff in there than I was anticipating. But it's empty. Ish. Kind of. But now everything is just <sighs> everywhere. So, great. I had to open a window because it was just getting too hot in here. Um, so I got a shelf from Amazon that I want to put in here. Not entirely sure if it's going to fit, but we will see. shelf that took a lot longer than I was originally anticipating but that's okay um, so now I have to tackle literally everything else which I don't know if you saw it's kind of a mess so I did go to home goods in preparation for doing this and I grabbed a few things I got these um, small bins I thought they would be able to fit the um, stamp sets and stuff really well Mostly what's going to go in here is just um, stuff that I've destashed and purged and then um, just random other things that I have, probably maybe like backups, backup supplies. So far that's all I can think of, but yeah, we'll see. So I got some bins and then I got these bigger bins with lids um, for just maybe some other stuff. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I figured you can never go wrong with more containers. Hey guys, so I thought I would do a little update on the office um, 
No, I'm not talking to you. Oh, sorry. I might need you though. So who are you talking to? To the camera. What camera? My camera. Oh, are you recording something? I'm recording. So, my husband got a new desk in his room and I got his desk, which is the same as my current desk. So I'm trying to figure out how to make myself like a little office-y setup here. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna do, but yeah. So we're gonna do that and see how I like it. I think I want to move this desk same side, but flush against the corner there. And then I wanna turn this so that they're like kind of, not like facing each other, but I would work in the space between them, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I'm gonna do it now and see how I like it. So, please hold. This is gonna be really annoying if I end up hating this and I have to move everything back. Better. Huh? It already looks so much more. You like it? Yeah, I agree. Ooh, I like it. Look. Yes, yeah, right, right. I love it. I say move this a little bit more. More? I feel like you're a little squeezed in there. Okay. I feel so legit. I just want to make something now. Looks good. Thanks, I really like it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so main desk is gonna be here. A mess, but I'll fix that. And this is going to be other desk with other things. I really don't like having to get up when I do stuff, so this will be really good to put other things that I have been having to get up for. Um, this drawer is gonna stay there, and I think I might just put my card here. I don't know, I'm gonna tidy up and see how I feel about that. Hey guys, so I didn't actually end up updating you yesterday after I um, put that desk in the room. So here is what it looks like for now, um, obviously, I just keep changing things around, so who knows what will happen next. But this is how it is now. I'm really happy with it, and I'm very excited to start working in this space. I have these two desks. They're um, the Kulaberg desk from Ikea. Uh, it's still available. Um, so this main desk here is gonna be where I'm going to do most of my scrapbooking and stuff, because um, the light is the best here. I do get a little bit of annoying light peeking through the blinds, but I've just been putting up like a poster board or something just to um, make sure that doesn't show up on camera. I have most of my essential stuff there, um, just like basic tools, adhesive, um, pens, all that stuff. This bin is where I keep all of my new products for the month that I haven't um, really gone through or used as much yet. Um, I like to empty this out like toward the end of the month. Um, so this is overdue to be sorted into the rest of the stash, but because I bought like a few random kits from Studio Calico, like older kits, um, there's a lot in there that I haven't used, so I don't want to divide everything up just yet. And then I just have some washi tape drawers here. I've been trying to use washi more, so I try to keep that near me. And then this desk over here is kind of just like an extra desk. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I did order a Cricut, so that's probably going to go over there. And then I have my typewriter here so it's easier for me to get to. I have the rest of my stamping stuff here. I did have it on that desk before. I had it along here so it was against the wall but I didn't like the way it looked on the desk now because it wasn't up against the wall so I felt like it looked too cluttered. So I moved it over here. Again, it's still within arm's reach that I can just turn and go through whatever I need to go through. So this is where I have all of my um, alphabet stamps. These are all organized by category. Of course, I have my own Disney section. Um, and then these are just like everyday type stamps. Uh, I have all my inks here, organized in this acrylic container from Muji, I think. And then all of my stamp blocks are in here as well. And then this cart is where the majority of my scrapbooking supplies are that I will 
normally reach for. And this, it's, it's just a rasp cog from Ikea, so I can roll it around and I'll just move this over there to where it was before when I had the room situated differently. That is how it looks for now. I'm pretty happy with it. I think um, I need to test it out a little bit and make sure it actually works for me. Um, that's also why things change so often. I find new ways that work better. Also why I haven't made a craft room tour video because everything changes because I just find different ways that work better for me. Um, but I'll try to keep you updated on how this space evolves because um, I know a lot of you really like the scrapbooking organization room type stuff. Today I got my um, Studio Calico kit so I'm going to do a quick unboxing for that and then I'm going to edit a video probably. Uh, I'm going to put up a process video later this week so I have to do the voiceover for that and yeah we'll see what else I have to do. I like to make a little to-do list every time I sit down here um, just because I can get very easily distracted and I need to kind of just focus myself. So yeah that's what we're doing today. <laughs> It's here. Yes. All right, guys, something very exciting just came in. Um, my Cricut, which I'm so excited about. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it in general. I don't really, it's kind of an impulse buy, but I did it um, and I'm really excited. <sighs> You'd think I wouldn't need more desk, desk space. Really struggling a little bit right now. Uh, scissors? Very cool. So I got this from um, QVC, so it came with like a bunch of extra things. He's got some transfer tape. I don't know what any of this stuff is or how to use any of it, but yeah, we have it. Okay, two mats. Uh, I know that this is what you put the thing on that you're gonna cut. have a Cricut. Um, I got it in the really pretty like mint green color. Yeah, let's figure out where we're gonna put this. <laughs> excited about learning how to use that. Um, that will be a project in itself. Uh, if you have any Cricut tips and tricks, let me know in the comments. Alright, so I think this is going to be my last update in this very busy craft room day. Um, I was able to do some like trial cut, printed cutting on um, the Cricut. I was just like playing around on Procreate um, today, just like making something in anticipation to print and cut it. And I'll show it to you guys. It's really like not anything good. <laughs> I just like made a um, kind of like a sticker sheet. Mm, can you see? I just made like some water, like a bunch of rectangles and um, did some watercolor painting all over it. Um, just cause I thought that would be cute and it was easy. 
Um, so I print and cut those a few times because apparently you should calibrate your machine before you actually start print and cutting, which I didn't realize. So I did like two, I did like two, um, prints of that and they were both like totally not centered at all. So I was like, why is this not working? I Googled it. I calibrated the machine and, um, it actually came out pretty cute. I mean, they cut properly, so that's good. I don't know if you can really see them. The lighting is also not great anymore because the sun is not down. Yeah, like I said, they're very simple and they're not very good, but um, that's like what I was trying to do. And I was able to print one good version of that, so that's that's how I spent the last two hours doing. I had ordered cardstock from Amazon also, and it is, I've been really looking forward to this Cricut coming in. Um, but I ordered cardstock, but it's too thick for my printer. So I either need a new printer or thinner cardstock and the thinner cardstock is a cheaper option at this point. <laughs> so I'll probably just buy um, regular, a, thicker, a thinner type of cardstock uh, tomorrow. And then, yeah, so that was my day to day. It was very long. I've been in here for like the last six hours, I think. Yeah, like six hours sitting in here. But yeah, I should probably eat something. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. cleaned up my mess from my previous whatever I was doing. Very excited. Ah! Um, so I was very in need of a new iPad. Um, the one I have now, let me show it to you, is from like five years ago or something. Five years, something like that. Um, and it's complete, I don't know if you can tell, it's completely cracked. Like, the screen is just completely shattered. I just, I had like gone to see if they could fix it and they pretty much told me it would be cheaper just to buy a new iPad. Um, but this has been broken like this for at least, at least four years now. And ever since it broke, the battery just doesn't hold a charge. I need to have it plugged in at all times, which is very annoying. Um, and I do use it a lot. I use it a lot to watch stuff. I, um, I just, I, I really needed a new iPad. So, so I got one. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's unbox this baby. Uh, this is the iPad, the eighth generation one, 128 gigs, just Wi-Fi, no cellular. Um, I don't really leave the house that much to use this. Um, and even if I did, I would probably be using it at a place that has Wi-Fi. So I wasn't too concerned about that. Um, it's space gray, matches my computer and my phone. Uh, this is just like the base iPad. I didn't feel the need to get the Air or the Pro because A, they're a lot more expensive and B, my needs are very basic. Mm. Um, I guess I should turn, I feel like I should back this up first. So to be honest, my main concern right now about like using a backup or not is that I'll lose my, um, all my data from my app for Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Day two of messing with this Cricut. 
I just made some labels really quick on Procreate. Um, just like little die cuts. And yeah, I had to um, recalibrate it again like I did yesterday. Because my first batch was all... My first batch wasn't um, cutting properly. So I don't know if that's a thing that I have to do every time. I have to calibrate it every time I use it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, super cute. They're just like some um, gray scale, monochrome, simple, watercolory looking things. But yeah. Hey guys, it is very gloomy today. It's Thursday. Um, so I've just been in my office all morning trying to figure out print and cut and my Cricut and it's frustrating and um, I don't know I my mouth is like orange from all the Cheetos I've been eating please don't mind it um, so I've been trying to print and cut like labels and die cuts and stuff um, and every time I do it I have to like recalibrate the whole machine to print and cut which is really annoying this like every time i've done it like three times before i've had to it like prompts me to s save the setting but then it like takes the the window out before i can hit save so maybe that was the problem so i was able to save it today um i haven't turned off the machine yet because i'm scared and i'm so tired of wasting cardstock doing this print and cut thing um so that's what I've been dealing with today. I was able to finally print, oh, I was able to print some labels that I um, made. I made some just like grayish charcoal. Well, it's supposed to be black, but my printer sucks. So it um, is like gray. Just cause I'm always, I feel like I never have like charcoal or black labels. Um, it's always like colors, which is fine. I just, sometimes I just want a black one. Um, and you know I really love to use like black and neutral on my pages. So they came out good, I think. I mean, the cuts are good. No one probably notices, but I changed like all my branding on my YouTube channel and stuff. And I have like a new logo. Um, I never actually had an old logo, so. But my friend um, designed some stuff for me and they're so cute. I threw them on the same sheet with the labels and just print and cut them. And they're so cute. Uh, so yeah, I love these. Also, the colors are off on my printer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what I did today for most of the morning. It's currently, wow, it's 1.30. Um, I'm going to make a page, I think. Um, I like to just kind of reset myself and do a page that I'm not recording or anything like that because I feel like when I record a video I feel more pressure for this page to not end up ugly <laughs> and when I'm just kind of creating for myself I feel um I feel okay um not feeling the pressure of having it be perfect so that's what I'm gonna do now and probably watch something um oh also what I want to do today I've mentioned this before, and this is something I've always really done. Um, every month or so, I keep all of my new products in a bin um, so that I can reach for the new stuff first. Uh, this month, or this last like two months, has been a little bit much because there was a Studio Calico sale where I grabbed a few um, older kits from last year because I wasn't subscribed last year. Uh, so I think I might go through all of this and um, I kind of like purge also when I do this, um, so we'll do that too, yeah.